Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Kermitcraft. Today, you've noticed that I'm at Jiminy's base. Okay, um, right, problem. So, I struck up a deal with good old Jiminy, who's currently not on, uh, oh. Yep, Grovey C's on, uh, new member of the server. He lives over here, and he's actually been here for a decent while. He's been here since, I think, before the Ender Dragon fight. I think that's when he joined. And you might have noticed Mr. His chest over here with just some stuff in it. And currently he has built a house. He's been on for about, I'd say, 30 40 minutes. And he's built a pretty cozy, nice house over here. If we each quickly go and check that out. Why is there so many cows around? Oh no. No, 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 no. Oh no. Oh no. That's a problem. That's a real big problem. I'm gonna go around exterminating them for him. He can have all the stuff, but we need to kill them all. Oh, that's so sad. Oh man, that sucks. That really sucks. I don't know how that happened. Can anyone even pick up fences? I don't think they can. I don't know. Well, we've killed a bunch of them. So, we're going over to Grovesy's house over here. Pretty nice, cozy, got some good loot in here. And as you can see, since his name is grayed out up in the top. I didn't mean to do that. His name is grayed out up in the top. That means that he is AFK. That means he's been AFK for over five minutes. And he's also changed his skin. I don't know why, but he's been AFK for about 10 minutes now, and he's just all he's done is changed his skin. <laughs> Hello. Okay. So anyway, we need we have struck up a deal with Jiminy. I've this I have made the deal that if I give him five diamonds, he will let me buy a uh, a ocean treasure map. All oh, right. Okay. Oh. Okay. In joy okay anyway he, we made the agreement that if i give him five diamonds yeah very nice uh yeah i can have five if i give him five diamonds i can buy a ocean treasure map from his villager a cartographer villager so if i just quickly deposit them in Oh, I think he's gained a couple diamonds and a lot of emeralds. But since we've we've made the deal, I think that's fair. Since we we originally did decide on uh, four diamonds, but since I'm poor on emeralds, I decided it's probably fair. If it, it, he'd be okay if I just give him five diamonds and just take a few emeralds. Is he is he back? He's not back. Anyway, yeah, look at his heads. He's got two husks. How did he get a rabbit? He's he's a rabbit murderer. See that? Rabbit murderer. Disgusting. But he's got a shulker head. A phantom head. A lot of quartz. Check his iron. It's a decent bit of iron, I'll give him that. He, he still hasn't taken... Oh yeah. He hasn't come on since the, uh, the, the passing of all of his stuff. He refuses to join the server. Because he exited as soon as he was about to fall into the void. And now he refuses to join. Like, refuses with a passion. That man will not join the server. No matter how much I ask him, he each won't. Okay, so we need to find who was selling it. That's the only problem. Okay, so it's not you. Villager 2. Hello. Hello, Villager 2. Uh, is it you? It is you. Thank you. Okay. So let's just quickly open this up and see how far away we are. Oh gosh. Let's let's just quickly put the diamonds in. This is where I always put my payments if I buy something off him. Like when I didn't have a mob farm and I used to buy gunpowder off him, I'd always put it in that chest all the time. And he didn't even know it existed for a while, so I'd just pay him and he wouldn't take anything. But before we go on a, a journey to the ocean, I want sh I want 
well, I promised you last episode, I built a new bit of my base. And I've actually already done that. However, I've already recorded it, and I'm gonna and the time lapse is gonna be shown now. So, enjoy. There we go, the build has been completed. We've now got a second tower and an extra bit of the ring. You might notice there's no string here. Uh, not because the snow has disappeared, uh, it's still a, an issue. That I still need to deal with somehow. Currently, I'm just using torches because eventually, when we get the sea lanterns placed in, they will deal with the snow for us. However, I have stringed up here, since there's going to be no whites up here, so it's still going to gain snow. But if we look at it from above, this base is looking quite nice so far. And keep in mind, so far, this is the entrance. I'm not living up here, this is just the entrance to down. There's something you're going to learn from me over the series of Kermitcraft. Uh, I take on projects bigger than I can chew. A lot. A lot bigger than I can chew. So that's why we have made that massive thing. Well, are going to be making that massive thing for the entrance to our base. Only the entrance. So, hopefully the inside looks good, because that's going to be where we're going to be spending most of our time. Food. Oh yeah, he's put a lot in here, jeez. There we go. Let's just let's just um put a couple couple poppies in his cow pen. As a to pay respect for the cows. 
gonna do a nice zigzag pattern. And leading out to where the cows escaped into the wilderness. <laughs> this is so sad. This is so sad. Look, I'm just gonna put one right there because I can't carry it. This is so sad. <laughs> anyway, moving on from that sadness, we've got to go find that ocean monument for a guardian farm. And I need a bed. And then luckily, I'm going to have to borrow a bed off good old Jiminy. Actually, no. I don't. Dang. Actually, if we just go over to our mob farm, which I think is actually in the direction it is. Perfect. If we go over to our mob farm, I'm pretty sure, pretty sure, that we have a bunch of leftover string that I didn't grab. I think it's just this way. Yeah, it is. There we are. Yeah, I'm pretty sure... Oh, this is Creeper Farm. Never mind, this is Jiminy's Creeper Farm. But if we go over to our actual mob farm, over here, there should be some leftover string. All we need is three. Three isn't that much string. Yeah, we all good. We all good. We don't need three. I'm, I'm an absolute moron. We don't need three. We need 12. There we go. But if we just quickly go back here, we've got to find somewhere with a... A tree. Boom, boom. Just quickly do some quick crafts right here. Crafting table. Boom. Um. See this? I am a speedrunner at the finest. Minecraft speedrunner right here. What do you mean? Oh, right, yeah, him. There we go. Now we can sleep. You may also notice that our sword has actually got good enchants. By good enchants, I mean we finally have looting three. And that's all thanks to hours of grinding. Just sitting in my mob farm, well not mob farm, zombie farm, for ages. Like, I'm talking ages. Just to get enough XP, and I think it took about seven sword enchants to get another one that had looting three on it. I also now have a sword with Smite 5, which is going to be great because I plan to fight the Wither either this episode or next episode. This episode would be nice because if we're going to be moving into mining out large areas for our base, it's probably best if we have a uh, Haste 2 Beacon. We have enough iron to deal with it, the main problem is, of course, the Beacon. We don't really have a Beacon. But if we just quickly go over here... We should find an ocean monument. Wait, here we are. So it should be right here. Yep, there we go. We're going to quickly take refuge on the island over here. There we go. No, yes, no, yes. Stop flying. Stop. Stop flying. Oh, I've lagged out. I've lagged out. I should quickly try and reconnect. Server's timed out. Give me a minute to fix that. Alright, so when we loaded back into the server, we were back at our old spawn point. That's okay. Just decided to fly back and... We found... Another ocean monument. <laughs> we found another one. On our way back to the first one we found. And that baffles me that we were able to find two ocean monuments. The second one by accident. Oh, okay, guy's pulling the bins outside, it's fine. Um, so we're trying to make a nether portal. To try and get back here easily. And we want to link it to the nether roof. Because we have a hoglin farm. We can just fly over to the hoglin farm and get back to base quickly. The only problem is since it's linked up to this. I'm going to need to work with portals something I really don't like. Actually, you know, if we just quickly take a screenshot of this location, it's like, if we just quickly go this way, absolute elytra skills, never mind. Apparently not good location skills, though. 
Yeah, if we go over here, boom, back base. That's a lot easier than I thought it would be. Oh, uh, and now we have the pleasure, the absolute pleasure of cleaning out an ocean monument. My favorite activity that I absolutely despise. Okay, good fun. Let's go. First task, not killing all the guardians because there's not really any point, in my opinion. Just gotta kind of get through, get into the monument. Oh right, yeah, we have um, mining fatigue. This is not good, is it? I hate those things. Okay, just try and run in and get like one at least. Kill one. I can't even kill one because I'm a knockback two sword. There we go. Jeez. Wait, can I already make. I can. I can already make a prismine block. Cool. So now what we need to do is take the slow approach, and I'll see you guys back when we've tried to take out all the ones in the outer edge. Alright, slow approach, not working at all. It's been about 10 minutes since I started trying to kill them all. They're respawning faster than I can kill them. That's a huge problem, since you can't kill them faster than you already can. You can't really get in because of the mining fatigue, but I mean, if we tried hard enough, we probably could. Oh, gosh. Yep, we've already been shot. Okay, that was not a good... What? No. No, that... it's a rocket. I just used a rocket. Oh, my God, I don't even have a light... There we go. Okay. We need a way to get in, and I have an idea. If we just box ourselves up, we'll probably be fine. Go, 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 go. No. Um, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Now I've got to try and make a box too high. And then go like this. And then go like that. And then go like that. And that. And then we block this off. Break it. Oh, we have mining fatigue. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. This is bad. This is a bad idea. This is a very bad idea. I think I've just drowned myself to death. Oh gosh. I've just killed myself, no. I think we're almost done mining it. Oh my god. Oh my god, that was a massive panic right there. I thought I just killed myself. And I have all my stuff on me. That would have been horrible. Okay, I'm gonna meet all... I'm gonna try and clear out some of this at least. And then, yeah. Bye-bye.
Here we are, folks, as you've seen the most recent time lapse, which should be short for you. It was actually about 25 minutes for me. We've been able to get three Wither Skeleton Skulls with our new Smite 5 Sword. That was not fun to get. Luckily, we have a new Enderman farm that I've worked with. Well, I haven't worked with Jiminy to make it. I, I made it myself, but since Jiminy has died and fell in the void, he was trying to make an Ender Ender. So, Jiminy, if you're watching this, if you log back on the server, and uh, unluckily, you're going to lose your loot, you can share my Ender Ender with me if you'd like. Just, just to see, like, you know, you don't die again, because you probably will, to be honest, knowing you. So I accidentally, uh, whacked back the, the stop recording button. I don't know how, but I did somehow. But anyway, we have three Wither Skeleton Skulls, which is the only reason we ended up coming here. Because I want to fight the Wither. And get myself a beacon. You also have this new data pack from Vanilla Tweaks again. That adds this thing called a chunk loader. Which is basically portable spawn chunks, right? And those are made if you get a... One, two, three, four, there we go. Yep, those are made if you get a... What's it called? What is it called? Those special, like compass things. Lodestone. Yeah, if you get a lodestone, drop it where you want it to be. Uh, place it, sorry, place it where you want it to be. Drop a nether star on it, and it will create a spawn chunk, basically. Which will keep your farm loaded. Let's say you've got an iron farm you want loaded. You can keep that loaded. Let's say you've got a bee farm which you want loaded, which is going to be very useful to me. It can be loaded the whole time while you're gone. Not when you've left the server, of course. That would be insane, probably cause a lot of lag. Uh, it would only... it basically be like spawn chunks, basically. As long as you're online, the chunks are loaded, keeping the farms running. Look over here. I think he's expanding the bridge. Yeah, look, the bridge has been expanded over to here. Where I think he's making a... Yeah, he's making a piston door. I mean, if he wants to make it double-sided, it's pretty easy, I think. First, we go over to here, chop down this tree, grab as much wood as we possibly can from it, get a birch button, go over here, and I'm pretty sure if you just place it on the inside, let's say we've got birch planks, right? Want to open it? Boom. Now you walk through, want to close it, boom. Now you're locked in. I didn't think this through. Let's, let's just, uh... Wow, I made it out miraculously. I don't know how that happened. Yeah. But anyway, we're going to fight the Wither right now. Like, I'm talking right, right now. Like, we're going, into, we're going over to here, a bit further out, over... There should be a flatlands right here. Yep, yeah, we're fighting with a right here. We're doing it. We're fighting him. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, three. We're doing it. Doing it. We should, we're fighting the wither. Look at him. Look at that boy. He's gonna explode. There we go. Why is he? Why is he running away from me? Oh, you see that? Sh Did you see that damage? That damage is kind of insane. His health is insanely low. Like, on, like, Bedrock, you have a Power 5 bow, you're going to take out about... Actually, we can move out of the way, you're going to take out that much. From, like, three shots. And you've dealt, like, three times as much as that from, like, one shot. So we need to think of a game plan here, because that kind of didn't go as I was hoping. Oh my lord. 30 seconds of wither. What? 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 30 seconds of wither 2. 
That is that is a lot of wither. Which means that we probably need to face him head on, to be quite honest. Because if we run away, yeah, he's just going to regen, isn't he? So we just need to fire him. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. I don't even have my rockets on me. I do have my rockets, but they're not my hotbar. Crud. Heal, 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 heal. Oh my god, I almost died. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Now, if I just fly around, can I, like, air combat him? Boom. Air combat expertise. Oh, no. I can't. I'm gonna die. Air combat. Oh, he's in the second phase. Okay. 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 Wait, he's not? No, he's not. He is not in his second phase. Go, go, go. We need to regen. Why is he going up so high? Why is he going up so high? I can't even hit him. There we go, got hit. Yeah, I don't think I'm dealing damage anymore. That's a problem. Is he going to come down and fight me, or like, is he just going to stay up in the air where I can't hit him? Can arrows even deal damage in this phase? I think we're in the second phase where arrows don't deal... No, wait, no, no, no. Now I think we're... Yeah, now we are. Where he comes in and fights us head on. Which is the most difficult phase of the fight. Because he has the higher DPS. But... And we did it. We did it. Way... Oh, we got a head. We got the Wither's head. And Batman. Try and do it in a bit of a scary voice. And Batman. No, no. Okay, that didn't... That was a horrible accent jeez I can't do accents I really can't and you know I completely forgot that we can wear these things oh I can experiment no 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 don't drop the nether star jeez that was a bit stupid of me like by a bit, I mean really stupid. Can we wear? Can we become an angry bee? <laughs> Yo, can we become an angry bee? <laughs> we can. Oh my god! <laughs> angry buzzing sounds. <laughs> Imagine just sitting in your base and you see someone running in like this. I'm not gonna lie, that'd be kind of intimidating. Hey, oh, wait, wait, wait. You know what, if I get a massive bee farm, I'm I'm gonna have a bunch of armor stands just wearing bee heads. Like everywhere. Look. I'm Bee Man. Batman sucks. I like Bee Man more. Oh, this is quality content. No need to thank me guys. No need to thank me. Ooh, Elder Guardian. I can be an Elder Guardian. Look at that. I can be... I can be a wandering trader. Herm. If I had an invisibility potion, this would work so much better, but I don't. Very sad times here, guys. Very sad times here on the Pixel Gamer 102 channel. Boom. Cool. We got a wither head. Yeah, uh, Ender Ender works pretty well. P pretty well. Pretty well. But we haven't. Whereas there it is, Nether Star. If we go into our building chest, we already have glass. In our valuables chest, we already have obsidian. So if I'm correct, just quickly one, two, three, four, five. Lob the rest of that in. We put this up. Put this on. Put the nether star in the middle. Oh, you see that? Oh, that's that's fabulous. That is fabulous. See, I'm worried that I can't break this with a pickaxe. I'm pretty sure you can, but I'm just really worried I'm going to lose it. So, advancements. Yeah, look. Chunk loader. There you go. 
Um, but anyway, I'm pretty sure there's an achievement you can get from, uh... Yeah, bring home the beacon. Construct and place a beacon. Okay. Oh. Uh, I, I think I should have got that, to be honest. Uh, and beaconator. Bring a beacon to full power. Okie dokie. Yeah, I'm also really annoyed about this. Jiminy stole the free the end enchantment from me. You know what that means, guys. I'm angry. <laughs> I love these mob heads. But yeah, we've got a beacon now, and if we just go collect uh, a bit of our iron. Look, we've got some sugar cane. I have cater here like the entire day while I was doing my work. It went amazingly. But yeah, if we go quickly get some of our iron. Go over to the new base. Oh yeah, I want to bring the sea lanterns with me. See what difference we can make. If we just add some sea lanterns in there over the ugly, ugly stone bricks we have right now. Like, those stone bricks, they ugly. Let's try and fix that. I think this base is looking amazing, to be honest. So we just get this. And... Bam. Look, it looks so much better. With all these sea lanterns. I mean, it looks good in the night. And we don't need all these torches anymore. To completely ruin all the lighting. Well, they don't ruin the lighting, but they... They kind of ruin the look, to be honest. I mean, like, which one do you like more? That, or that. Yeah, this one just looks more, more smooth than this one. So we should go through, get rid of all these torches. That should hopefully have solved our snow problem, just not our mob problem. So, yeah, uh, we're just going to go over to, let's say, here. No, over here, right. No. We're going to go to our mine. I was correct. It was only a 9x9 nine nine area, but look. Are you ready? Boom. Insta mine. Oh, this feels amazing. I mean, just, just look at this. I am destroying this area. This feels amazing. Oh. Oh. Oh, nice. Diamonds. Nine diamonds. And luckily we don't get um insta mine with our fortune pickaxe. We don't have efficiency five on that yet. We should do soon. I was an idiot, because I have uh I had two efficiency four books, right? And my genius of a brain decided I have efficiency four on my silk touch pickaxe. So to get efficiency five, I shouldn't just combine the efficiency four book with my efficiency four silk touch pickaxe so that I can then get efficiency 5 on my fortune I should combine the two books and then put them on my pickaxe and that's how I wasted an efficiency 4 book and a, what could have been insta mine on my fortune pickaxe as well yeah nice going me but yeah I'm gonna don't be surprised when I come on like camera next time and I have like stacks of stone I'll make sure to show you guys the area so you know I'm not cheating or anything. But oh my god, I'm going to be doing so much mining with this thing. Mining with this just feels amazing. It genuinely just feels amazing. I mean, look. I've already got... Look at that. I've already got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven stacks of stone. That's in... That's actually... That's actually crazy. Okay, I think that's the perfect time to end off this episode. Today we've got some pretty good things accomplished. We finished the second tower to our base. Which we're going to get the third one done next episode. We were able to get a guardian... Well, a sea temple. At, um, well, not hollowed out. Uh, completed. Completely empty. Not emptied. Completely killed all the things. Which are going to respawn. So next time we go there it's going to be painful. And we defeated the wither to get ourselves a haste to beacon I say today's episode was extremely good
Yeah, okay, that was the horrible word to use. I think today's episode went very well. And I hope you will have the rest, a great rest of your day. And I hope to see you in the next one. Goodbye.